What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be breaking down how to create two different blur flash transitions. And these are the perfect transitions to use, especially if you're going for more of that like clean and simple look for your edits. And before we get into the video, I also want to let you guys know that I sell editing packs and presets for video editors. So if you're interested in that, I'll have the link down in the description. Without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. So here in After Effects, I have these clips from BK the Rula's music video. And for this first one, we're going to be creating sort of like a blur flash zoom transition. So it's like a bunch of transitions combined into one. And the first thing we're going to do is just grab this layer, grab your second layer that you're going to transition into, and we're going to overlap it with the first one. So just bring that back. So just bring that back one frame and then cut this timeline. And the first thing we're going to do is focus on the scale as well as the opacity. So from the beginning of the second clip, let's go forward one, two frames and then just keyframe both the scale as well as the opacity and then go back towards the beginning. I want this to be really scaled up so that we create kind of like that zoom out transition. And then for the opacity, you want to really lower that to around like I think 40% should be good. So once we do that, we can see the layer from before. We want to create kind of like that overlapping effect. And then I want the fade in to appear faster. So I'm going to grab this opacity keyframe and just bring that back one frame. Then I'll easy ease the keyframes. So this is what we have for the transition so far. We have that like really seamless zoom out transition and to make this look even better, we're going to create that flash blur effect. Let's create a new adjustment layer. Make this adjustment layer six frames. Once you cut this layer, make sure to bring it towards the middle where we have three frames on the left and three frames on the right. For the first effect, let's add an exposure. Increase the exposure because we want this to be really bright for that flash effect. I'll just increase it to three. Keyframe that at the middle and then keyframe both the beginning as well as the end at zero. Then we're going to add a Gaussian blur in order to create that blur effect. Go to the beginning of the adjustment layer and I already want the blurriness to start out. So let's increase this to like around, I think 15 should be good. And then just keyframe that, go towards the middle and I want the blurriness to be even more intense. So let's increase this and I'll just increase it to 30. Then we're going to keyframe the end back to zero. So right when the adjustment layer cuts, we already have that blurriness. Also going to increase the exposure. I want the beginning to be a little brighter. So I'll just increase that to one. Then easy ease all the keyframes. And this is what we have for the transition. It looks really smooth because we added that flash blur effect. After creating that blur flash effect, we're going to add a radial blur to the second clip. And for this one, I'll just increase the amount just by a little. I think that just makes the clip look even better. So we have that transition and then we have the clip of the radial blur effect. Now moving on to the second effect, we're going to be creating another simple flash transition. And I'll just be using different clips from the same music video. So let's first begin by creating a new solid. And for this one, you want to make sure that the color is white. Cut this layer so that it's only one frame and make sure that it appears at the first frame of the clip that you're going to be transitioning into. So this is going to be like that flash effect at the beginning and then we're going to add a few other effects. So let's create a new adjustment layer. Make sure this adjustment layer is eight frames long. For this one, I want the adjustment layer, which is going to have the flash effect to appear like a few frames after the first flash effect. So let's go forward two frames and then just bring that forward. For this one, we're going to add an exposure. I'll increase Increase the exposure to 2.5 should be good. Keyframe that. We're also going to increase the offset just by a little. So I'll increase that to 0.1. Keyframe that at the beginning towards the end and keyframe both of those back to zero. Then we're also going to add a blur effect to make this look even better. I'll be adding a camera lens blur. Let's increase the blur radius. I'll increase this to 12. Keyframe that at the beginning and I want the blur to fade out faster. So let's go to the middle of this adjustment layer. Keyframe the blur radius back to zero. So the reason why I like this effect is because it kind of like shows the shape of the blur. If you go to the iris properties, you can change the shape. I'll just keep mine at hexagon and then keep all the other settings as it is. I feel like it just makes the blur look a little better, even though you can't like really notice it. But after doing that, let's easy ease all the keyframes. And now when I play this, we have blur flash effect and i really like the way that looks it looks really clean but that's all i have for this video those are two different ways that you can add blur flash transitions to your edits thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video